YouTube so just come on my YouTube channel the yellow popitayo so hive fit fit your donkey proton and a fitic music country Zeus just fit ya fotomak tak imam do mak artist ya opisava she no in the public car shop in the pulling tap the last chin of the system Prijete tis de maho knalo te pe prispetis te vikre vai te razem se nuru tem no vishnik artistiv. Now, my next reaction, I haven't reacted to this particular channel in a very, very long time. And it, and it is still one of my favorite channels because it gives me a kind of a, a historic value in what is um, Ukraine. So this is um, Ukrainian opera, 1968, we are going back. And I believe, I hope I'm pronouncing um, her name right, it's Shikonya um, Solovenko. So this is in Kiev, like I said, 1968. There is some details which I'm going to highlight right about now and put it in and translate it into English through our illustrious translation leader, Google Translate. <laughs> um, it says, Lama Shikonya Solovienko by Mark. I can't pronounce it or your surname, sir. Sorry, sorry, I'm not even going to try because it will just be wrong. <laughs> Seriously. And we've got State Symphony Orchestra Conductor S. Um, Turchak. And we call Kiev in 1968. Lamarche Kona sings uh, Marco's and his surname, and I believe the song's called Nightingale, um, with the Ukrainian State Symph um, Symphonic um, Orchestra, conducted by S. M. Cherkak, Cherkak, recorded in Kiev um, 1968. So that's the information that I have. I'm sticking by it. I'm really, really excited. We just by looking at the thumbnail, um, I believe rounding back that time, like I said, um, color was color was just. Um, being thought of on, on TV. I don't think, re I think Colour was really introduced into movies as such in uh, 1972, 1971, uh, around about that time. Um, I think the time when Wizard of Oz was um, filmed, because I remember the first half of Wizard of, Wizard, Wizard of Oz was in black and white, and the second half was in colour. Um, and I believe during that whole period of that filming, that's the period of time when um, colour was invented into uh, TV, what we know as TV. So, I'm looking at this and thinking, was colour introduced into this after when it's gone back into it, or is this around about time like I said when colour was really uh, was invented? So look, without further ado, you know what we're here for: great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? So is that the the opera house? Now, that photo doesn't look like it's been taken in 1968. Now, that one does. Just being observant, that's all. Now, Nightingale. There's something that's something playing on the back of my mind regarding that. Have I done a reaction to Nightingale before? Maybe a carol song or something. I, I don't know, I can't remember. This almost feels like this was, this should be, if it has not been done already, in a film or a theatre ballet or something. Is this a Christmas song? She's got some strong vocals. <laughs> I think I've reacted to her before. I suppose you have to be there to, for that not to blow you out of the water. <laughs> If you see this eye go tear, it's because I've got eyelash stuck in there. It's scratched my eyes out right now. I'm doing my best to uh, ignore it. I was 
thinking if the future is going to change. That is a point. How many Cossacks died in a foreign land? Okay. The story. Just like most storylines of old. So the nightingale is her, the woman in the photo. It's a metaphor. But once again, I don't think anybody can do that right about now in this time and era. Do you hear what she just did? That. So that was Shavoya uh, Solovenko, Solovenko. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. right. Um, song Nightingale um, that was sung in back in 1968. Apologies for talking through um, and not giving enough space to actually talk in there. It was quite exciting, and like, sometimes I get too excited and don't hold back and and you know, forget that I can actually say it and this is a time to say it, not during the time of um, when I'm watching and being amazed and being bedazzled by the, the amazing vocals, but also the lyrical contents is what I was thinking over and over again. And I was and I was going to say during the um, my reaction, which I should have not, I just waited for here, um, is that there's, through my experience of what is Ukrainian um, poets and um, opera, is normally talking about um, the warriors of old. Um, don't get me wrong, there's loads of other array of music um, in, in Ukraine, but I'm going back into opera. It's, I thought it was literally about a nightingale, nightingale and, you know, Christmas in that structure. But I, I, it seems to me the nightingale was the, la the lonely woman that was waiting for the man that sadly passed away that was buried underneath the house. Um, upon the, many other storylines on that. Um, but is that right? The, the nightingale is a metaphor and it was actually... The, I'm not talking about the... Um, um, Shikonya. I'm talking about the, the the female that's in the. I don't know why I said that the female in the drawings because from my last experience of um, from last year reacting to uh, amazing songs of the old, um, you said that the muse the song does not reflect the visuals. Is the visuals just there? But even though it has a historic value to that, so is that once again that what I'm is that what I'm seeing and if so what are the the two girls is that a famous painting it looks like a famous painting or from a um, drive from a famous poem and being that this song is 1968 um I presume, I presume it was um the composer composed in 1968 the drawings does it fit bill as well is it around about that era or is it even you know that back in the 18 it looks like an 18 something drawing or you know 17 something drawing i don't know once again when you see something that's like 1968 or the 1950s, whatever, there's going to be tons and tons and tons of questions um, that is going to be flying out my mouth. And sometimes I just don't have no control of the time of when those questions are going to come. It's just going to blur out any time. So that's why I have to apologise when it came out. It could have been really destructive to uh, the nature of the flow of my reaction. So apologies for that. But it's that excitement um, of it. I have to go back in there because I believe that I didn't give the whole... Um, justice of the flow of the whole song. Um, it, there's parts that I catch. I mean, certainly at the end, it was like, 
absolutely magical. The in middle part was brilliant as well, but I was dipping in and out because I was concentrating on the lyrical contents and the visuals and you know, blurting out questions and over um, when Shikoni was singing. So I have to go back and I will go back um, to grasp more. So when there is a conversation between you and I, I can come back with substance. That's what I'm talking about. So look, until next time, um, I've got another reaction that I'm going to do um, and a trip here. But also, please check out Cola's new uh, um, track coming out um, that's, that has come out. I provide a list. And also, I'm going to do a collage of the Ukrainian um, national, uh, the Ukrainian uh, Eurovision selection. All in one go, <laughs> because there's, what, 11 contestants now? I think there's 11 or 15, I can't remember. But I'm going to just do that in all in one um, reaction and not listen to all the songs, but, but say, you know, I, I don't know uh, how many, but I'll, I'll figure it out. But I'm going to do that um, because... I haven't reacted to that section yet, and I have to, but I have been keeping up to date because I do get emails about it. And um, so, uh, apologies that I haven't dived into it as much as what, what I would like to, but I will be diving into it really, 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 really soon. So, watch out for that. Until next time, I salute you. Boom. Mm -hmm.